According to five senior officials familiar with the plans, federal, state, and local law enforcement agencies are discussing security measures ahead of a possible indictment from the Manhattan District Attorney's Office. As the walls close in on Donald Trump, the former president is going berserk. Trump calls for Manhattan DA Alvin Bragg to be criminally charged for interference in a presidential election. Trump claims Biden is pulling the strings in his potential indictment in Salty New Truth Social Dispatch. They don't want to run against Trump. He's very anxious about the prospect of being indicted for, for a couple of reasons. He does not want to face getting arrested, which is what happens when you get indicted. You get fingerprinted, you get brought in, you have to ask for bail. None of that is something that he is excited about. He's terrified of being indicted. He's terrified of being in handcuffs, even if it's for five minutes, and having to be fingerprinted and mugshot. And this could be just the start. Because this may not be the last indictment, even if there is one. It may just be the first of several. And you can sort of see a different scenario playing out. If you have one, two, three indictments, let's say, if they bring an indictment in Florida, sorry, in Georgia, if they bring an indictment by the federal government in terms of January 6th or these classified documents, at what point do Trump voters get tired of it and say, look, you know, is there somebody out there we could have who does the same things we like about Trump without so many court dates? The first court date is expected in New York. This is in connection with a hush money payment the former president allegedly made to porn star Stormy Daniels in the closing days of the 2016 campaign to keep her quiet about an affair she claims to have had with Trump back in 2006. The key witness is former Trump lawyer and fixer Michael Cohen. He says the evidence for campaign finance violations and obstruction of justice is irrefutable. The smartest thing that a lawyer could do if Donald Trump asks, you know, to represent him in this nightmare that he is going to be living, run, run as fast as you can and don't run to Florida and especially not Palm Beach, right? Run someplace east or west, but definitely don't get involved with Donald. The lawyers who are already involved with Donald Trump are floundering and deflecting badly, even on simple questions. Why is your client going out and saying he's going to be arrested on Tuesday? I think it's I think it's a very important thing that he does that, quite honestly. We've got Hunter Biden, who uh, we've seen has ties to China. We've got his dead brother's uh, you know, wife, who's now we've we've heard this week has been funneling money from China as well and is on payroll. So if you're keeping track, the Donald Trump defense team strategy for questions about Stormy Daniels, hush money and criminal violations is Hunter Biden and Biden connections to China. What? If that continues to be the Trump legal response, the former president is in even more trouble than he knows. And it's not just legal trouble. Politically, polls continue to show Donald Trump's support is eroding and that a growing number of likely 2024 GOP voters are tired of the Trump chaos. And by most accounts, that chaos and bad news are about to intensify. And while Donald Trump may try to leverage his legal problems to portray himself as a victim and score some conservative political points, there is a chance his presidential ambitions are going to take a political hit because the fact is criminal indictments are never a good thing. And even Donald Trump knows that as evidenced by his increasingly unhinged rants and lunatic claims. By the way, one of Donald Trump's staunchest supporters in Congress, Republican Marjorie Taylor Greene, is facing widespread criticism for publicizing border security information that the U.S. government wanted to keep confidential. I understand Chief Ortiz, but I'm not going to be confidential because I think people deserve to know. Check out that story at the link below. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.